I hope it isn't cold inside. Perhaps we should come up with a plan. It seemed stupid going in unprepared, but it was also impossible to make a plan when you didn't have a clue what to expect. We should discuss what we intend to do first. Our priority is rescuing the girls. It's impossible to tell whether it will be highly populated or scarce, but either way we need to be careful and try to remain undetected while we search for them. If the situation arises where we would greatly benefit from splitting up, then, no matter the circumstances, we need to focus on what will best preserve our own lives, even if that makes the job more difficult for us. I intend to take all three of you back to the orphanage alive. You told me not to rush and act without thinking, don't forget. Do I have to wait for you to come up with a plan, or can I just open the doors? I suppose delaying it any further when we have no information is just cowardly. Automatic doors, huh? No gods or kings. Only man. I guess we found the right place then. Well, that's the philosophy we can Don't all- Don't quote that fuck song! Mello, can you please try to control your anger? We shouldn't waste time. We don't know if we can be seen from here, and it would be best for us to remain undetected for as long as possible. A bathysphere? I should be able to hack it in no time. And if you don't, then you have to bake me a cake. That sounds like a challenge. If I can hack this under an hour, then you have to get me the new Zelda game. <laughs> Take that, L. entitled to the sweat of his brow. No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose... Rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, Rapture can become your city as well. Well, wasn't expecting that. Did anyone else notice the guy with his finger burning? I don't know how that would be possible, but I think this is going to be dangerous. If we take the evidence about the abnormal speed the robot exhibited and the poster advertising a plasmid, then we are seriously underprepared. Not that we could have prepared for this without also having some sort of powerful genetic mutation, if that is even possible. That means that, in case anybody still lives down here, and we must assume we will encounter the kidnapper at some point. We each need a weapon, and I didn't have time to acquire any. So if you find anything you could use to defend yourself, then keep it. I'm 
The security still works, so I guess people must still be here somewhere. It looked like a pretty big place from the outside. Give me a screwdriver. Won't it be a bit obvious if this camera suddenly dies? If the security is still working, then it means there are still people here that need to be kept under control, and there are people in authority to watch the security tapes. From what we've seen so far with the protest signs, I think it would be more reasonable to assume that this was broken by someone else rather than by intruders since no one knows about Rapture on the surface. And I doubt anyone has found this place before without invitation. We should be safe. I think it's possible to hack the security cameras. Called Splicers, don't forget. Whammy Boys versus the Splicers. Matt, this isn't a game. This can do as a weapon. I think we might have to go this way. There's a sign that says lounge. Make sure you don't go too far ahead. We can't risk being seen by any security cameras. We could try the stairs. Is this your first time plasmid? It couldn't be simpler to gain the powers to give you and your family a better life. Add some atom to the plasmid syringe and shake until the mixture turns pale red. That is all. I guess. However, we can't use it. Genetic engineering is inhumane. That is why it's illegal. Humans aren't meant to have this type of power. Near is right. Clearly something terrible happened down here, which is why the city is in ruins. If we- <laughs> Matt! Make it stop! Is he going to die? His heart is still beating. Matt is stupid, Mello. Only an idiot would inject themselves with whatever was in the contents of that syringe. He had no idea what it would do to him, and he still did it. He's lucky he isn't already dead. Be quiet. I can hear a voice. Not my baby. You don't want her. Why couldn't you take the neighbor's girl? Or take me instead? Give me back my little girl. Someone, help me. Please, just don't hurt her. Where are you, darling? Mommy's getting very angry now. Come back. Are you okay? You! You took my baby! Give her back! I don't want to die, Elle. Darling, come out now, please. Mama just wants to hold you. Where are you, sweetheart? Mello, you just killed someone. If I didn't, then she would have killed us. How long was I out? About 36 minutes. <sighs> Matt, what you did back there was one of the dumbest things you have ever done. You could have died. <sighs> Honestly, Mello, it's so cool. I bet you're jealous. It's not cool, Matt. It's the worst idea you've ever had. Oh, whatever. If I didn't have it, then we wouldn't have gotten any further than the first room. Hello? Hello? That voice. It must be Tenenbaum. You want to ignore me? Fine, then. I'm aware that I did some terrible things, but I know what he did was wrong. Now, I'm trying to fix them. You do not know the history of the rapture, and the civil war that took place, and these are things you need to know to understand. The battle between Brian and Fontaine, and it was all my fault because I discovered the atom. You are listening now, yes? I know why you do not want to answer. You cannot trust anyone, correct? That is true. But if you do not know the facts, then you will die here, and there will be no one to find your body but the sisters and the splicers. But I know you are there, and soon, Brian will too. You will not survive Rapture by yourself. Do you even know how to recharge your plasmids? No, I don't think so. You cannot trust anyone here, but you can trust me. If you want to speak to me, then only use Channel 8. That way no one else will hear us. It would be safer not to trust anyone. For all we know, she is the kidnapper. I agree. Listen to me. You must be very afraid. I am afraid too. But this is partly my fault. 
I know this now. This is wrong. But I can help you. You must be here for the girls, yes? I am the only one that can save them now. They are now little sisters, but I have the power to fix them. You do not have to trust me if you do not wish. But you need the present I have. You have to meet. I promise you, I will not kill you. If I wanted you to die, then it would be better for me to let the Splicers have you. Those girls do not deserve this, and bringing children down into the cell is unforgivable. But they are not afraid because they have been destroyed. Their families will never see them again if you do not listen to me now. Even if you do find the girls, you will be killed if you try to take them. You must listen to me. I will tell you everything. Please, I have to make this right. What do you want to do? <sighs> well, personally, I want to speak to her. I want to know more about my hand. She didn't sound like she was lying, and if we're careful not to give any details away, then we stand to gain more than she does. They'll notice the helicopter outside eventually. We may have already been caught by a security camera, and we wouldn't know about it. I think we should listen to what she has to say. Okay, I'll listen. You will? Danke. Where are you at the moment? I can't tell you that. I can't trust you. I understand. Listen, there's a sea slide that is able to produce atom. The more atom you have, the more plasma you can have. You will find blue Eve hypos around Rapture. You will need these to recharge your plasmids. Without Adam, we could not have achieved genetic modification, and I was the one to discover this. I... I planted the sea slug inside the little girls, and they were mentally conditioned to take the blood from corpses and drink it, so that the sea slugs will regenerate the Adam in the splice's bloodstream, and we can make more. To do this, we turn them into little sisters. They are always protected by a big daddy, and if you go near the little girls, then you will be killed. But I want to save them, so... I created a plasmid that can reverse the girl's physical conditioning and some of their mental conditioning. It was the best I could do, and the only way to save them now. I need to meet you so I can give you this plasmid. No. Perhaps your distrust will serve you well in Rapture. Fine then. I will leave the plasmid inside a teddy bear for you to collect yourself. Do not speak to anyone else. Fontaine and Ryan and even Atlas are using my girls for Adam. They harvest the sweet slug, and that kills the child. There is only me you can trust. We'll keep in touch. 